Welcome to the Sharon Crochet Along. Let's get started. How exciting. I'm using a big hook and big thread here today so that's easy for you to see the beginning steps. We're going to do six chain. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to work a treble into the last three chain. Treble is yarn over the hook, into the hole, pull up a loop, you've got three on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. If you're in America, you'd call that a double crochet. Just remember, it's yarn over once, into the hole, pull up a loop, you have three on your hook, pull through two, pull through two. One more. Now, you should have all received your instructions on how to do this. Now we have a nice long tail here, that's very important. We've finished our first row. Row one, one shell. Now we're going to make a beginning shell. That is making six chain. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to do the same thing as we did before. We're going to go into these last three chain. That would be the fourth, fifth and sixth from the hook. Yarn over into the chain, make a treble or a double, whatever you'd like to call it. All the instructions in the pattern are done in two languages. Yarn over the hook, pull through two, pull through two, yarn over the hook, pull through two, pull through two. So that's a beginning shell made. The instructions for beginning shell are at the top of your pattern. Now we have to tell the work who's boss. I couldn't get corner to corner because I couldn't see where I had to go. You actually have to tell this first shell to flip over. And you need the tail hanging down in the center of your work. We're going to miss one, two, three stitches and we're going to work into this large three chain space and we're going to do a normal shell in that. A normal shell is a double crochet, three chain and three trebles all worked into that one, that three chain space but all worked into the one three chain space. The big hole I call it. Now if you're American that would have been a single crochet, chain three and three doubles. Now that is the end of row two if we hold our tail down the bottom. We have one shell in the first one. For row two we have two shells and for the next row we're going to have three shells. So we start with a beginning shell again. One, two, three, four, five, six and we're going to work into the last three chain by working a treble. One, two, three. Once again we have to tell the work who's boss we get this piece here and we turn it so that the tail is hanging down in the center. We skip one, two, three chains and we work a shell. I'll talk at this shell through for you as in American. Single crochet, chain three, and three doubles into that big space, into the three chain space. Now we've got people that have already signed up. We've got people from the Netherlands, Canada, Alaska, South Africa, um, Australia of course. Um, I don't know what other exotic places, but we would love if you could show your work off each night. <laughs> Look at me, can't talk and crochet at the same time each night and put a photo up so that we know where you're from. 
I'm going to skip one, two, three stitches and work into the a shell in the last shell. So this time we're going to be Aussie, double crochet, three chain. You'll all be bilingual by the time we're done. And three trebles all into the last three chain space. Now I'm going to continue working with this on a smaller sample but I just wanted you to see it all in the big stitches so you know where we're going to make it easier. So you're going to be increasing, let me lay that down for you, you're going to be increasing a shell each row. So row one has one, row two has two, row three has three and you're going to keep working that until you have 16 shells. So you'll be able to count them across, it'll be 16 rows, whichever way you count it, one, two, three rows, one, two, three rows, or one, two, three across the top. So when you have 16, if you've got up to a 15 inch arm width, if you're a bit um, larger than that, make it 18 shells. So you're going to be working 18 rows and 18 shells, and that'll be in the next video. All right, keep an eye out. I'm trying to keep the video short, quick and easy so that we don't get bogged down. All right, get to work. Have fun.